NASA's installation. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all what is NASA's and then what is the procedure of installation inside NASA's. So what is NASA's? So NASA's is a vulnerability scanner which is used as a network scanner. So if you want to scan a network, right? So you need to use NASA's network vulnerability scanner. What it does? It scans machines and provides vulnerability reports. So it scans all the machines available inside your network and uh, will provide you the weakness report or vulnerability reports regarding all the IP addresses available inside your network. For example, if you have 50 machines inside your network, it will scan all the 50 machines and will provide you different different vulnerabilities for particular IP addresses. Now I'm going to show you that how you can download and install NASA's network vulnerability scanner inside your Windows machine. So you can use any Windows machine. You can use VMware Windows 10 machine. If you have Windows inside your main operating system, you can install it inside your main operating system. Doesn't matter because it is just a network vulnerability scanner. So now I'm going to show you that how you can download it. So guys, I'm at google.com and on Google, you can type download NASA's and hit enter. So you will find this first link. This is the official website. So click here. And here it is. So you can click on the first one dot MSI, which is for Windows 10 or Windows 7 or 8. Doesn't matter. Click here. Agree the agreement and download this file, which is around 75.6 MB file, just the installer. So you can click save file. Now it is going to install inside your Windows machine. So guys, I have already downloaded this file. Let me install it inside Windows machine. So double click on this file, click run. And now it is going to install. So click next, select the agreement, accept it, and it will install inside your C drive. So click next and install it inside your C drive. Basically, installation of NASA's can take time. It depends on your internet connection. So if you have a good internet connection, then uh, it will take few minutes. If you don't have good internet connection, then it will it can take some time, right? So uh, I just want to say one thing that uh, if it is taking much time, then you can basically proceed to the next sections of the course, right? And uh, when it gets completed, then you can return to it. So it can take time. So uh, you can see here that uh, it is still saying that this may take several minutes. So you can proceed. So click yes, or you can complete this tutorial later when the installation will get completed so it depends on you that if you want to wait or if you want to proceed so now you can see that it is starting different kind of services and now it has finished it click finish and here you can see that it is working on port number 8834 click connect via ssl your connection is not secure that's just a warning click advance and you just need to add this exception, click confirm security exception. And here you can see that it has initialized this process, right? So uh, from here, you just need to wait. It can take five to 10 minutes in a good internet connection. And it can take several minutes if you don't have a good internet connection. So it's up to you. You want to wait or you want to proceed in the next sections. All right. So uh, this is all about the Nessus download and installation procedure and after completion of this process it will basically open up the nessus graphical user interface automatically and uh, in the next video i'm going to show you that how you can use that graphical user interface of nessus to perform network scanning so this is all about nessus installation procedure you just need to wait here and uh, wait for the completion and uh, you can see here that uh, it is asking you to create an account so you can type username for example username is admin password is also admin you can click on continue now it is asking for the activation code right so uh, now you need to find out that how you can get the activation code so to get the activation code you can come up click get activation code we are using the free version so come down click on register now here you need to fill this form for example i'm filling the form sunil 
first name last name and your email address and you will get a link on that email address so i'm providing my email address here and click register you will get a activation link on mail copy that link from mail and type here and click continue and then just wait for the completion so i need to open my mail where i will get a activation link from tenable so here you can see that this is the activation code you just need to copy it from your mail and paste here click continue so our work is complete now it's up to your internet connection that uh, how long it will take to complete the installation procedure right you don't need to refresh it or go back don't do anything just it will take time and uh, after that it will open up the graphical user interface of nessus wait here for the completion so this is all about the download and installation procedure and in the next video i'm going to show you how you can perform vulnerability scanning using nessus so thank you